How's it going everybody? This is Jim with BlackFault.com. Just here to show you guys a little bit about the Heartbleed exploit that was recently found in OpenSSL. Uh, basically this exploit will allow somebody to remotely dump the memory of a web server. This can be your online banking server, Gmail, some kind of email server, whatever server it may be. Um, that uses HTTPS or any service for that matter that uses OpenSSL. So basically what, um, what we're going to do is go ahead and run a test. Got two virtual machines running here. Got a web server running with a WordPress, default Apache, Debian based system. Uh, nothing special at all. So I'm logged in here and I'm going to go ahead and add a user. Just a normal user, well, another admin user. Um, so we'll go ahead and add that now. And I've already tested it up this uh, so that I can show you guys quickly without uh, spending too much time doing lots of troubleshooting. So very weak password doesn't really matter uh, it, everything's in the open so this could be like a hundred characters long and I could still read it remotely without even hacking into the server itself so let's go ahead and add the new user and we'll go ahead and log in with him and see oh. There we go. So I'm logged in with my new user. Add a new test post here just for giggles. Pretty basic stuff here. This is unencrypted now. That's because the WordPress is set up to uh, you know the default URL is not HTTPS but you can log into your admin section with HTTPS just fine and it won't uh, get all crazy on you switch URLs on you when you don't expect it but anyhow as, an, as we're logged into the admin section we are definitely secure here yeah, there's my little pop-up I like to keep track of what's going on Google Alerts Anyhow, so we'll go ahead and then, uh, go ahead and see if we can exploit Heartbleed on this web server I got running here. Real simple setup here. I'm going got uh, Kali Linux running, latest version of Metasploit, all updated with their OpenSSL Heartbleed bug. Um, so what I'll do here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and start logging everything in our console to out.txt that way we can monitor it in real time fire up Metasploit here and over here we're going to uh, watch this file you're probably wondering what this command is ignore everything in these squiggly brackets here basically it's what's in between that, that we're looking for and this grep command is looking for this with in all 50 characters before and after it. That way if you know grep is line by line, if the line is massive, like some kind of header, you don't want to spit that out a bunch of times and you can't read it because it's so big. So we're just going to spit out a, a little bit of text before and after and that's what this grep does. The watch command runs this grep command every two seconds on the output file which we uh, are logging all console output over here to. So we got Metasploit here. Let's go ahead and uh, load up the auxiliary module that does this. Pretty easy. All you got to do is set your R hosts. Your R port's already set for 443. If you're testing mail servers and other things that use OpenSSL, you'll need to change that. For a web server, HTTPS is 443. So we just keep it there. Important switch to turn on uh, the verbose line just like they say on Rapid 7's website uh, for this this little spit out 
the entire memory dump, not just whether it found the leak or not. So we'll go ahead and run this. Didn't really find a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, let's run it again. Hey, there's some more stuff here. <laughs> Look at this. Unencrypted. Email. First name, last name. I didn't set that when I created the user. Login name, Jim Bob. New user.php. So this is still in memory on the web server from when I created this user. It's really interesting. Keep dumping it and see if we can capture a password. I may, don't, may need to log out and log back into the blog to get it to, to show. Still pretty interesting though that it's showing uh, user login, Jim Bob. Oh, here's a password, pass1 equals. Yeah, I don't know if it goes with this user or not. Actually it does. This is the password, the username and password that I created. Didn't show up over here. Um, we can see if we can get that to work though. So that's a log out. Log in as Jim Bob once here. Let's log back out and log in as admin. Let's see if that does anything for us. All right. Let's keep on running this and see if we can get something to show up over there. This depends how the memory works on the web server. We may not be able to capture that particular line. So let's actually uh, make sure I got the right file here. Let's go ahead and grep uh, something different here. This is one of the ones we found. Hmm, WordPress logged in. That's crazy. All this is unencrypted. Create user, that's the action from when I actually created a user. That's pretty interesting. We can do a search for pass one. Pass one equals. Looks good. So let's do that. Whoa, okay, so here you can see right here unencrypted pass one role administrator gives me a lot of information about this particular user for WordPress of course WordPress is open source so I know you can kinda of tell what to look for um, when you're looking for this kind of stuff so it's it's not that difficult um, for services that are running software that you know if it's a custom program it might be a little more difficult but you can still view source um, when you log into your bank. You know, you're viewing the source on your web browser, which is unencrypted. So you could still go in and look for HTML variables. All you do is, uh, let's go over here, let's log out. All you do is view source. Yeah, here's the, the, the box, the text input box for putting in your password that's where I got this from user login log I'd like to try to get this to work it just may take a long time to do and I don't want to keep you all busy here let's give it one more shot we'll just spam the heck out of uh, the run command over here oh there we go for some reason it showed up this time log check log Jim Bob password pass one 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 nine that's the user that I created really interesting that came from a cookie really weird I don't know what WordPress is doing there but anyways you can see I'm uh, definitely connecting over HTTPS uh, with this uh, Heartbleed Metasploit module by Rapid7 so pretty easy to do um, very dangerous that's why setting you know resetting your passwords isn't really going to do much uh, until people that are affected are uh, upgrade their their web servers and their open SSL so anyhow that's heartbleed in a nutshell in you know in a nutshell um, hopefully you got a little bit out of this and uh, if you have any questions shoot me an email jimb at blackfault.com
check you guys later. Thank you.